Uh, Raven Tactical here. Um, we're going to add to the SHTF uh, series questions. And this question is going to be posed not so much as security, but more of a mor or moral compass question again. And this was a question we used to use when we were like, so on Facebook, I was still on Facebook, me and a friend of mine are the, basically the co-partner of this company and this channel. We would often pose this question to prepper groups, local prepper groups in our community that had it on Facebook, or local militias that were on Facebook. And so a lot of the time we would pose this question, you know, what would you do in a scenario, and here it is, you've been overrun, your group, your mag has been overrun, your tribe has been taken over, you guys are now bugging out with limited resources. You have your guns because you bug out and you had a cache kind of backup supply. So you got some guns, you got some ammunition, you have your a little bit of gear, you have your a little bit of a couple, you know, a couple days of food, maybe a week or two of food. But your location is completely done. There's no way to take it back at this point. You have your group and you're moving and you're moving from you now become the, the roving gang, or not the roving gang, but more of a roving group. You're looking for help. You come across, I should say, I should take it back a step. You know that you're running low on food. You know that the next town over walking is going to take several days. You have old people in your group, kids, and maybe a few injured people. But you come across a group or a town who happens to have a well, you know, well-stocked environment. Think of him as, like, um, on Walking Dead, if you've seen it. Think of it as, like, Rick's nice little town there. So you go up to the gate, you go up there and ask us to talk to him. And you say, hey, is there any way that we could trade work for food or offer some skills or offer your ability to get exchange for food? And you, you tell them that you got sick and injured people and they're hurt. And they completely flat out turn you down. They're not willing to trade, they're not willing to really talk with you, and they kind of threaten you. So you know that by going to the next town or trying to push, pretty much is guaranteed some of your people will die. It could be kids, it could be the older people. You know that not everyone's gonna make it, but you do have the ability to fight, which is the only other option you have is to fight. That group now puts your life in danger by refusing you, correct? Now, do you do the moral compass thing of actually going through and taking them out? Now, I'm not saying that you could take them head on, but you do the thing that most people could do. You use an ambush technique, or you use the ability to infiltrate and kind of take out leadership, or you take this, you know? You wait till their guard is a little left out. Maybe you wait a day or so. Maybe you wait two days, and you take them. But you're going to wind up killing these people for food. You're going to wind up killing them to survive and live another day. And then that's how we pose the question. Your question basically is, do you go and perform the things that you would probably hate the most so that your family lives one more day or two more days versus walking away and having moral clear conscious of knowing that if we just keep pushing forward we'll we'll lose a few but maybe we'll make them maybe some of us will make it we won't do the bad thing so for me when we looked at it it said pretty much if you're going to put my family's life in danger and I'm not saying it's their fault but you're not willing to work with us you're not willing to trade you're not willing to do this you're not willing to make a compromise like hey we're willing to give you our time and energy to help you for a little bit of food, and you have it. And yeah, I think a lot of people, the option is you will attack, you will basically have to kill. And that's just really what it boils down to, is you don't really get a choice in that matter. In my opinion, you have to. You almost would have to. I mean, how else are you gonna put your family and get it through, you know, you have those options. 
Now, I do like the other concept that maybe you find something better down the road. Maybe there is something better. Maybe you'd come across an apple orchard or whatever. But how do you actually consider it? I mean, I know it's kind of a flip question of what I asked yesterday. But how do you develop, you know, how do you deal with a moral moral uh, problem with that? I, mean, I think the problem I saw was a lot of times the responses we would get were kind of, they weren't being true to themselves. They weren't critically thinking. A lot of them was, well, you can't loot. You can't do that. That's looting. That's wrong. It is wrong. Nobody said it wasn't wrong. I'd rather, some of the more interesting ones were, I'd rather let my family die, starve and die, knowing that I did the right thing. And that's, that's an impressive stance to take when you basically have access to McDonald's down the road. But when you're truly watching your kids die, and you're truly watching your family die, I don't think you're going to make that same choice. Anyways, um, just, you know, hit the subscribe, like, definitely comment back on this. Hopefully it made sense. Um, I really appreciate all the other comments I've been getting. It looks like we have quite a good dialogue going back and forth. I'm going to try working on this series and pose a couple questions a week and hopefully do more book reviews. Um, I'm looking at hopefully getting some of those, like I do in a bug out, not a, excuse me, not a bug out bag, but just a, the ruck bag review and some of the contents that are inside of it. So everybody enjoy yourselves. If I don't see you guys for this weekend, have a good weekend. If not, this content should be posted tomorrow on Thursday. And this is just Raven Tactical signing off. Have a great night.